Hello and welcome to Inside IT from the technology experts at Intel's own IT department. In this podcast, we look at implementing Apache Hadoop software at Intel. Intel recognizes the value a big data platform can bring to business intelligence. Organizations like Intel are rich in data, but that value can't be realized until there's a way to collect, sort, and analyze that data to extract meaningful business intelligence from it. And no one knows more about turning data into actionable intelligence than Chandu Yala. I'm BI and Big Data Engineering Manager at Intel. Yala says back in 2011, Intel IT saw some new business intelligence use cases cropping up. One was security BI. The data is kind of semi-structured and not standard data, which we are used to in our EDW kind of platforms, which are we are used to more transactional data, which is coming from our transactional systems and we analyzed that on our data warehouse platforms. Yala says there was also a lot of data variety and fast moving data, typical of big data. And we started thinking, how do we start managing this kind of data and analyzing this data so that we get the right insights and the right value. And we started exploring what are the other platforms out in the industry which could help us do the analysis on this data. And he says Hadoop, the open source big data software framework, was among the platforms they looked at in 2011. We did explore Hadoop at that time, but we felt it was still not mature, it was not stable. It was too early, and then we didn't have the right skills. So Intel initially went with a low-cost, massively parallel processor, or MPP, platform running on Intel processors. But Intel IT kept an eye on Hadoop, and as time went on, use cases changed. We started seeing requirements for recommendation engine systems to help our app up business. Basically, you buy this so-and-so app, you could buy, you might be interested in some other app. And Yala says in the interim, the open source Hadoop had matured as well. So basically we started saying, okay, we should bring Hadoop in. And we uh, did a a small cluster to start with and help that particular business to deploy that use case. Once the decision was made to go with the Intel distribution of Hadoop, one critical need was to assemble the right team to work on the platform. We identified people who have Linux skills because that is really critical. Engineers who have Linux skills to work on Hadoop because they can do better. The core skills is Linux and Java, right, for developers. Yala says once the direction was set, Intel worked fast to get the Hadoop platform up and running. After we selected the vendor, which was Intel distribution of Hadoop, we deployed our production cluster within about five weeks. So within five weeks, the Hadoop platform became one part of Intel's BI strategy. Yala says the mix of platforms used depends on the particular use case. So we started balancing basically when we go to MPP, when we go to Hadoop. And then along with that, we also have a predictive analytics engine, which is our advanced analytics platform where it's a custom Intel developed platform where we use that set of libraries, advanced analytics libraries, to do this predictive and prescriptive analytics on top of this data. You know, once we bring the data in either into Hadoop or either into our MPP platform, we use the tool set to do this pretty high-level advanced analytics. This multifaceted BI platform featuring Hadoop has been designed to address three specific use cases. The first is a contextual recommendation engine to help users find products, information, and services with map management technology. It is basically to promote a cross and upsell by matching, basically, recommending products to the resellers correctly. So if you don't know, you know, when you can match the right product which the reseller would like, they would buy it faster. And there is a good value already gained from that particular use case. We are seeing around $4 million already of value in the last quarter or so. Another use case is log analytics for incident prediction, which identifies and correlates potential issues opened with IT. This reduces incidents, reduces a chance of a major incident happening. Basically, it also reduces IT support costs. Now you are able to clearly look at all these logs which are coming from PCs and servers and everything and correlate them with already known events which happened before and then you do some kind of a text passing, text analysis, uh, do this correlation there and then be able to predict what could happen. And then it's proactive analysis, right? So that's definitely something which a platform like Hadoop is really great 
because you can use different libraries to do this. A third use case that utilizes Hadoop and yields tremendous value deals with web analytics for customer insight. This basically provides customer and network usage analytics for both Intel.com and our customer advertising channels, basically. So it provides ability to perform deep dive on web usage data for marketing or content navigation purposes. And also it provides means to predict and adjust product position or pricing based on response to marketing campaigns. And, says Yala, there's plenty of work down the road for Hadoop and Intel's BI platform to tackle. Such use cases are hitting us, and also most of them are around predictive kind of analysis, you know, with, uh, I wouldn't say way too much volume, but not necessarily that in, in order to do advanced analytics, it has to be a big data use case. You could do advanced analytics on even as small data sets as well, but it could be on huge data sets too. So it depends. So there are several such use cases hitting us. So we are watching and then we try to work on them as they come. Yala says security and file management are critical considerations in the Hadoop space. It's nothing but a file storage. Everything is stored as a file, broken into multiple files. Depending on the block size of the file, it's stored in multiple commodity servers or you know spread out or uh, rack of servers. So we need to have appropriate security to protect those files. Who can access the files? And Yala says a key to success with Hadoop implementation is to plan ahead, then monitor your results as you go along. It starts off with the right hardware and software. That's very critical. And also it's very critical in a Hadoop environment. Over time, you have to fine tune the environment to meet your needs. Identifying the right use cases, having the right set of people, having the right set of system, software, hardware, and working with the right vendors, using the right capabilities on top, and using what capability when. So it's a complete package. That does it for this edition of Inside IT. For more information on implementing Hadoop in the enterprise or on anything IT related, go to www.intel.com IT. While you're there, you can sign up for the Intel IT Center for regular updates on IT topics, third-party research, IT-focused events, and more. For Inside IT, I'm Paul Lancourt.